Okay, in this video I want to talk about evaluating surface integrals and this is going to be just kind of a, a, a very basic straightforward example. There's definitely lots of stuff to talk about in regards to surface integrals. So again, this is just going to be kind of a straightforward basic computation when to get us started here. So what it says is, it says suppose we have a function of three variables x, y, and z and suppose its domain includes some surface s. Um, in this case, we're going to suppose that S has an equation of the form z equals g of xy. So we can write our surface in terms of the variables x and y. It says if you want to integrate your function of three variables over that surface, it says basically what you do is you leave the x and y alone, you substitute g with the, uh, excuse me, you substitute z with the function g of xy, and then we multiply all of that by the square root of the partial of z with respect to x squared, the partial of z with respect to y squared, plus 1, and then we can integrate with respect to x or y first. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Um, so in this case, suppose we're going to evaluate the, the surface um, our surface is going to be 1 plus 2x plus 3y. The function that we're going to be integrating is going to be x squared yz. And we're not going to integrate over this entire surface. We're just going to integrate, um, that would give you something definitely kind of crazy. Um, we're going to integrate just simply over the region of this surface that lies above the rectangle given by 0, 3 cross 0, 2. Okay, so to evaluate this is pretty straightforward. It says basically all we have to do is we leave the x alone, we leave the y alone. Whatever uh, the equation for z is, 1 plus 2x plus 3y, anywhere we have a z we simply plug that in. So we've done that there. And then it says we simply have to take the partial of z with respect to x. If we take the partial of z with respect to x, we would simply get 2. We've got to square that. It says take the partial of z with respect to y and square that. Well, the partial of z with respect to y would simply be um, 3. We've got this plus 1. And then we can integrate either with respect to x or with, with respect to y first. Um, I don't really see any major difference between the two. So maybe we'll do, I uh, always like to do y, and then I do x. So the limits of integration that go with y would simply be 0 to 2. The limits of integration that go with x would be 0 to 3. And now we've really got a pretty straightforward double integral to compute here. But we can do it, uh, do it real fast. Um, probably what I would do is I would go ahead and distribute this term out. Um, so we would get x squared y. If we distribute again, we would get 2x cubed times y plus, then it looks like we would get 3x squared times y squared. Let's see, what, what do we have under the square root? It looks like we have 2 squared, which is 4, plus 3 squared, which is um, 9. So 9 and 4 is 13, plus 1. It looks like to me we're getting the value, the square root of 14. Too bad it wasn't a, a little bit of a, a, some nicer numbers here. Make sure my arithmetic's not off, but I think that looks okay. So it says simply we'll integrate that with respect to y and then with respect to x. So I'm going to step through this part a little bit faster. So we've got the integral from 0 to 3. If we integrate with respect to y, we would get x squared, um, so we'd have y squared over 2. The 2x cubed would come along, we would get y squared over 2. And then we would simply have 3x squared, y cubed over 3. All of that's going to be multiplied by the square root of 14. I think I'm just going to pull that all the way out front. This would be evaluated from y equals 0 to y equals 2. And then we'll have to integrate all that with respect to x. Um, so hopefully we can compute this without too much trouble. At least the lower limits here are zero, so that'll make life a little easier for us. Um, see if I can do this without too much computational difficulty. Um, notice we could go ahead and cancel out the twos and the twos and the threes and the threes, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that so I don't have to look at it. 
So it says we would be left with, we've got the square root of 14, the integral from 0 to 3. If we plug in um, y equals 2, we'd have 2 squared over 2, which would be leave us with simply 2x squared. Um, if we plug in, again, 2 for y, we'd have 2 squared, which is 4, so we would have 4x cubed. And then we, if we plug in 2 for y, we'd have 2 cubed, or 8, so 8 x squared. And then notice our lower, lower limits of integration would simply be a bunch of zeros, so I'm going to leave that off, because um, every term has a zero uh, as a factor. And then we'll simply have to integrate that with respect to x. I'm going to do this uh, again all in one fell swoop here. So if we integrate, notice we have 2x squared and 8x squared, which would be 10x squared. If we integrate that, we would get, well, 10x cubed over 3. And then we would have 4x to the 4th over 4, evaluating this from 0 to 3. Again, we could simply cancel out the 4s, just be left with x to the 4th. Um, I'm still bad. I always just write it out without really thinking about it. So we've got the square root of 14. We would have 10 thirds uh, times 3 thirds plus 3 to the 4th. And again, our lower limits of integration would simply be a bunch of zeros. So we've got square root of 14. Um, we would have 3 squared, which would be 9 times 10, or 90. Um, 3 to the 4th, that would be 81. So to me, it looks like we're getting 171 times the square root of 14, whatever that equals. So again, not too bad to innovate or integrate certain types of surface integrals. This one was pretty straightforward. The surface was set up very nice and cleanly. Um, certainly the limits of integration were no issue. They were basically given to us. But certainly this is, uh, this is about as nice as they come. They get pretty confusing, I think, or, or have the potential to. So I'm going to do some more in some other videos. As always, please feel free to post comments or questions.